Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial and this time I'm going to start a new series of tutorials on uh, Evolva FX from Full Pocket. Um, in this video I'd like to introduce uh, the app, it is a performer app and you can use that for example as an arranger type of uh, application. So. Um, Let's go through the interface and the UI to get uh, first familiar with the controls and where they are. So in on the top here, and, and I say to the top because you can scroll down as you can see here. And we have meters for the sound that you play. We have also a solo button, a panic button. We have a vector pad. Mm, and that moves between four different lanes, which are here, lane A, B, C, D. Thinks about lanes um, as a track, if you like. For the moment, we have a section here as well when we can enable the effect returns, which are sent through from the different lanes as well. And, and we go through, of course, in more details in other videos. We have option to create a new performance, for example like so. We have an option to load the performance which uh, contains all the different configuration of the lanes etc or a single program which is the configuration for a single lane or a multi-sample for example which because you can load sample and also multi-sample and layer them in um, a Boulevard FX and you have access also to a performance manager where you can create a new bank, set category, delete um, banks create a new one, load them, etc. etc. Uh, you can save performances and programs as well. You have an option to delete, and you have also access to online help. You have a button here to turn it on and off, and also you have a output as well. So let's go to the next section. So the next, um, oops, the next section. Uh, here we go. So it start with timing, and because. And here you have a list of, uh, uh, in total there are 64 steps, but here you can see only 16, but you can move to the next uh, 16 up to 64, like so. The first uh, uh, section is about timing, so you can set timing for each of the different steps. The second one is where you can load up to 16 different samples, which for example can be single sample, multi sample, harmonics, etc., etc. You have then a section where you can establish the notes if if the sequencer in this case is playing no note, fixed note or transposable notes. You can set it for example to wave cycle or for or to a sequence. So you have a lot of other options and ultimately you, are, you can also uh, set it to play an arpeggiator and you have a section here where you can decide how the arpeggiator will work. Next, moving on to uh, the next part of Evolver FX. We have uh, another um, uh, part of the application where you can first select the envelopes, your uh, ADSR effectively, your attack decay system release for your voltage control uh, frequency. And you can do that for lane, sample, etc. We'll go through all of these in future videos. You can do that for the amplitude envelope and you can also do that for the LFO. You have optional also for each lane to set the effects and send them and so the amount of effect that each lane will send. And you have a setting to change the global tempo, which will work of course as a standalone, but not in a hosted um, application, like if you're running Evolve FX as a UV3. And you have of course option to change the EQ and you have a graphic EQ with different slides or slides. Like this. Uh, you have a, a section on zone. Yes, you can uh, um, decide to have different zone in the keyboards on how uh, those we react, for example, to different layers. And we'll go through that again in another video. And you have also options where that you can set further for your VCO LFO modulation. So really really a great application i really encourage you to start with loading some performance like so for example uh, the top one and playing simply some chords for example <laughs> Thank you. 
really really great sounds and as you can see under the performance you have tons that you can select from it really comes with uh, a lot of preloaded performances uh, presets etc so really good to start with so hopefully these uh, made sense in just the first video to navigate through the ui and uh, from the next video we'll start to go deeper in the app itself see you next time bye